What's up guys, Taylor here, and today I have a little After Effects tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to do some simple motion tracking using the After Effects tracker so you don't have to do annoying keyframing. It's a lot faster and simpler and uh, it will really help you with, you know, create some nice titles, some nice effects for your videos. So anyway, um, I've got this little example of what we're going to be doing. I already ran previews. Okay, as you can see it's just the, the text follows the door frame nice and simple. No, I didn't do anything crazy with it, just you know, it's something nice, it creates a little nice aesthetic uh, effect for your videos. Anyway, so we're gonna go over to this new composition. I just dragged my source footage, clutch.mp4, and put it into a new comp, and then cut cut to where I wanted to track. Alright, so as you can see, it's I want to track this door frame right here. And so what we're going to do is click the source footage that we want to track. Actually, sorry, skipped a step there. We want to go new null object. Hit enter, and you can uh, name it tracker to keep yourself organized. So we know that's going to be our tracking object now. Also, a little, temp, a little tip, tip um, for you guys, make sure you always hit Control S during your projects. I know that sounds like the stupidest, most simple thing ever, but um, you don't know how annoying it is, especially you know sometimes, if, especially with After Effects and certain versions you may have that you've gotten through uh, nefarious uh, sources. Sometimes they tend to crash a little easier. So uh, it's always nice to be just hitting Control S every time you you know add a keyframe, every time you add an effect. That way you you don't know, you know get screwed over when you do an hour of work and then it's all lost. All right. So anyway, so what we're gonna do here is hit Clutch to MP4. We want to hit Track Motion. Make sure our motion source is the footage that we want it to be. Uh, current Tracker Tracker Two. That's fine. Um, track Motion. So as you can see. Not only does the position change the door frame, um, also the scale, it gets larger. So we want to hit scale as well um, for our, our tracker. And I got a text message because people like me. But anyway, so then we want to go over to this other window, which is where you're going to be tracking your footage, or where I track my footage at least. Um, it's not always like that, but with me it is because that's the way I have it set up I guess sometimes you might it might just pop up when you double click on your source footage so anyway um, I'm gonna want it to be not that here you want to click in the center and drag it to where you want to track your points um, you want the points that you pick to have distinctive p pixel configurations so that means you don't want it to be a solid white block on a white wall. So I don't I would not want to put it over here somewhere because that's not going to do anything for me. It's just going to jump all over the place. It's not good. Uh, these door corners are nice because they've got a nice little corner of brown and uh, some different shades of white up here with the shadows. You can make these boxes a little bit bigger so that the uh, After Effects has more pixels to choose or to track at least, you know, give you better tracking data. So, all right, we should be all set. We're going to bring it out a little bit and hit, hit that. And it looks pretty good, pretty good. And we can just stop it right there. It seems right at the end that we got a little off track here. That's okay. Yep, like right the last couple of keyframes got off but that's no problem you can just go in that that happens sometimes you can just go in and uh, just manually mess with those last few ones get them get them nice and where you want them uh, see that that wasn't bad at all a lot easier than uh, tracking uh, tracking all of the, tracking it all by hand I should say so anyway, you want to edit your target, make sure it's set to your tracker, which is your null object. Um, then you want to hit apply, X and Y, that's fine. And there you go, it applies to your tracker. And so then we're going to go back to here. 
And as you can see, our null object now tracks right with the door frame, which is exactly how I want it. The scale gets bigger. That's perfect. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new text. Um, something nice and simple. I don't know what we're going to do here. Um, BF for Vendetta Films. Oh, isn't that cute? If so, want to place this in your doorway. Want to get it nice and all set how you want it to look. Rotate it a little bit. Get it nice and parallel with the that door frame over there. Scale it down a little bit, maybe. Okay, this isn't going to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but it'll teach you how to do this right. So anyway, now basically your tracker is uh, following is following the doorway, but your text isn't. So what you're going to do to do that is you're going to parent it to the parent your text to the tracker. So go to this little drop-down box and click the tracker, and now you should notice something, and look how your text just follows. Follows your null object so nicely now. Isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful. And now you can do a bunch of different things with that. You can, uh, you can add effects. You can do whatever you want. Animations with that. Go to town with it. Um, so that's simple motion tracking and After Effects. Hope that was helpful. I'm Taylor. Uh, my gamer tag's Purgatory. Check out my channel, Desolate Films. Give this video a like and a favorite. Sub if you want. Plenty more tutorials to come. Uh, subscribe to Vendetta Films. I've got a trailer that should be out in a couple of weeks. And some other projects I'm working on. You know. Okay, that's me signing off. Peace.